Welcome back to the Express at the High, Vancouver's only bouldering gym. It's considered an extension of the Squamish climbing scene. Of course, it's always nice to take a road trip and cruise up to Squamish. We're going to take you even farther with today's Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. We're catching a ferry to Campbell River. Travel along with us as we explore the many marvelous attractions and activities of beautiful British Columbia on the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Today's road trip takes us to the 50th parallel, Campbell River on Vancouver Island, three hours north of Victoria. Traditionally a resource-based town, forestry, mining and fishing, and today with a marine link to the past. Ten years ago, Trish Whiteside was a dedicated volunteer for Campbell River Rotary, and the building behind me was just a dream. This particular building was built by the community, and now it's part of who I am. The Maritime Heritage Centre, although a museum of sorts, is actually an activity centre. Its jewel and reason for being is the immaculately restored fishing center, the BCP-45. Definitely the BCP-45, which is a boat that was on our $5 bill and is a National Historic Site of Canada. Oh, just love it. Just the fact that we have such a big boat inside always surprises people. They just can't believe it's inside. This stove came out of the BCP-45 and it is just a little darling. And this is called a sky genie for scooping up people out of the water. The Maritime Heritage Centre is nestled right up against the government wharf and it's right here where Vic Anderson, one of the dedicated volunteers, grew up. And he hasn't left far from home. This place is part of his blood. Why I'm here? Um, seems I lived on the site for most of my life, uh, watching these, the boats come in and out of the harbour. My grandfather was a boat builder. My dad was involved in, in fishing, and, and it came by it naturally, I guess. We used to fish in the boat, wooden boat, all restored, beautifully restored. I showed you how it all used to be. It was, it was really interesting. Yeah, a little bonus. And, and it's not all under glass. I mean, obviously some of the more valuable items are under glass, but we have an eclectic collection of artifacts and you can, I think most people that are uh, come to visit realize that there's something for everyone. And that's what makes it kind of unique too. We're not just one type of museum. Even though we are marine related, there's so many aspects to marine artifacts. For Quality Assured Collision Road Trip, I'm Marjorie Greaves. Entertaining and informative, the Quality Assured Collision Road Trip. Weekends on Shaw TV. Always something new and exciting. The Campbell River Maritime Heritage Centre is open Monday to Fridays. The centre can also be rented out for weddings. And you know what else you can rent for your wedding? A gelato cart. We're joining the Bells at a famous handcrafted gelato shop in downtown Vancouver. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Wedding Bells. I just got engaged. And I did not. We're on an adventure. Plan the big day. I love cheese! We all know that our bride-to-be... So good. ...loves food. <laughs> and at my wedding in Tuscany, I'm gonna have a gelato bar. Gelato for me it is all about passion from your heart into the gelato itself. Mm, it is good. That's so good. The moment it opened, I was in here every day. Bella Gelateria is owned and operated by James Coleridge. And is the only person outside of Italy to get the Gelato Pioneer Award. And they're now calling me the father of gelato. Yes, there's a university for gelato, and I specialized in chocolate and alcohol. I went and got my master's there. I also specialized in chocolate and alcohol. And so our gelato education began. Here's what we learned. Number one. Gelato is all about passion and personality. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, really good. Number two. They're all about local business. Now, all of our flavors are intense, like the espresso, for example. This is a local roaster from Milano that we use his La Futura espresso. Oh god, that's good. Local business. 
Number three, looks don't matter. We hide it because it's not about what it looks like. It's not about being pretty. It's about what it tastes. So this is the best storage system in the world. It's called Pozzetti. It's so powerful. It's like poof. Number four, gelato is a great breakfast. Well, at least for me anyway. One of my favorite things to eat for breakfast in the world is ice cream and sprinkles. I have nightmares now. Ice cream typically has 28% fat. Gelato has 7% fat. Ooh, okay. So you can have four times as much and feel a quarter as guilty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that was, but it was happy on my tongue. Number five, did you know? It's Vancouver has the most gelaterias per capita than anywhere in North America, even New York. Number six, my fave. It's a great place for dates. Lots of awkward dates here. Lots of good dates here. We have lots of partnerships that come in here, start here. Romance. We do candles at night on the wow. tables. We set it up as a really romantic setting. It's a gelato gasm. Hold on. Oh, God. Number seven, last but certainly not least, it's perfect for weddings. We got this cart that was handmade in Italy and maybe. If we're good enough, we'll see it later. We actually bring the cart into the wedding party and we actually serve the gelato right there to the bride and groom and all the guests. I could eat all three meals here. Of all the things we learned at gelato school, the one thing we'll never forget is that gelato is an experience. I'm in shock right now. I've never tasted anything like that in my whole life. It tastes like summer. It tastes like summer. It tastes like summer. Yeah. Thank you. For Shaw TV, we're the wedding dolls. Gelato, and I admit I'm a regular Bella Gelateria neighbors the Shaw Tower, and the ironic and awesome part is it's also on my walking route to the gym, and I'm okay with that. Just means maybe I have to add in a few more climbing sessions here at the Hive as the weather heats up and my gelato experience heats up too. You're watching The Express. We've got more stories coming up after the break. We have approximately 155 boats that are racing. World-class racing for a worthy cause. We're going to do some very gentle aerobatics. Glacier Air celebrates with a perfect 10. Ready, oh. The Express. We are your local voice. The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward. Welcome back to The Express at the Hive Boulder Gym. Community and culture. That's what The Express is all about, and that's what you'll find here at this gym and in this next story with highlights from the Easter Seals Waves Regatta. It's a beautiful day for a sail, but these are not just pleasure cruises. They're part of an annual fundraising regatta with a long history supporting an important cause. Today we're here for the 26th annual National Bank Easter Seals Waves Regatta and uh, it's a two-day event. This is our first day um, on the water and we have approximately 155 boats that are racing with uh, five courses and 16 fleets participating this weekend. The regatta is staged annually to raise much needed funds for Easter Seals House, which provides a low-cost place to stay for parents who have a child receiving treatment at Children's Hospital. It's wonderful to have just a small piece of a room and the financial burden to come down here so often is, is huge. To have a place like this where it's not so expensive to stay is awesome. Easter Seal House has been wonderful. It's, uh, we've talked to other people within the lobby and stuff here and the, the uh, coffee rooms and stuff. We've shared information. Uh, the staff has been wonderful. The National Bank Easter Seals Waves Regatta is held at the Vancouver Yacht Club and many of the boats receive corporate sponsorship or the team raises funds to participate in the race. This successful and essential fundraiser has a distinguished history and will continue to be a Vancouver tradition. This is our 26th year, so it's been going for a long, long time and it is the main fundraiser for Easter Seal House in Vancouver, so it really helps to subsidize our operational costs. And with over 100 boats participating year after year, this charity regatta, the largest on the West Coast, will continue to make a difference. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express.
The website is easterseelsregatta.ca if you'd like to get involved next year. That's what life is all about, making the most of every moment. And nobody knows that better than Nicole Fitzgerald, who we're joining in Whistler Village. So what adventure are you taking us on today? Sky's the limit. Glacier Air is celebrating their 10th anniversary in Squamish. And what better way to celebrate than launching a new plane? The new aerobatic tour had my stomach doing loop-de-loops. When I started Glacier Air, my dream has always been to be able to fly aerobatics. So I finally got it. <laughs> A loop-de-loop -loop dream, but pilot Colette Morin has never battled gravity, quite the opposite. She's ignored it ever since she logged in airtime in her mother's plane at three years old. And now the owner of Glacier Air in Squamish has resumed her training wheels once again as she learns to fly aerobatics. You pitch forward and then you keep it rolling and as you come back around. What I kept doing though is rolling through, I'd pitch for it as I get inverted, so I keep getting stuck upside down. This shiny red Super Decathlon was an anniversary gift to both herself and her business. Glacier Air celebrates 10 years of mountain flying this year. This aircraft that we have has got 180 horsepower and it's got an inverted fuel and oil system. So what that means is we can actually do inverted flight for up to two minutes without running out of fuel. Hi, Colette. Hi, Nicole. It's great to see you again. Wonderful to see you again. Welcome back to Glacier Air. Thank you. So today, we've got an adventure for you. Yes, it sounds like it. We're going to be flying straight and level. Aerobatic pilot Michael Pear was hired to fly and teach. He brings 35 years of flying to Glacier Air's newly created acrobatic tours and training lessons. Acrobatic training is ideal for licensed pilots seeking to improve their emergency maneuvering. The land dweller that I am, I was looking how best to avoid trouble. We're going to do some very gentle aerobatics. Okay. Is there such a thing as gentle aerobatics? Yes, the <laughs> way I do them. But it was the other G word I was worried about. G as in G-force. Unlike Colette, I'm not the kind of person who takes gravity lightly. Our whole idea is to introduce people to the fun of aviation. easing it off Gravity is a fun friend. I tried to imagine it, and when that didn't work, the views of the Squamish Valley and surrounding mountaintops blissfully provided distraction. And then it was time. And on the second feel of the road pedal, so you okay. feel me, right? Oh. Just lowering the nose on 140. This is going to be quite gentle. We pull pretty hard. And over we go, right? We're looking for the horizon. There's a horizon, and easing it through, right? Out we come, there we are. As simple as that, how do you feel? <laughs> and over and over we went until gravity finally flexed its muscles. It's kind of like being carsick at 3,500 feet. But I didn't want to come down, and I even took a chance at the controls. I want you to pull, pull, pull hard. Next time, I'm logging in a few roller coaster rides beforehand. The more you fly and flip, the stronger your tolerance for G-force gets. I've never done an activity before where I, my brain is like, I don't understand where I am in space or what's going on. It literally turns your world completely upside down. And what a beautiful way to see the world. Right side up, upside down, the scope of gravity is a wide open sky with Glacier Air aerobatics. The only problem, when your feet hit the ground. I'm staying in the harness because I need a couple of seconds to just calm down so I don't fall out of the plane. <laughs> a forever new perspective on gravity. I'm Nicole Fitzgerald in Squamish for Shaw TV. You fly tours, charters, even pilot school. Lots of ways to fly high with Glacier Air. The website, GlacierAir.com. And for more things to do around the Sea to Sky, Metro Vancouver, and the Fraser Valley, here's the 411 on the FYI. Radar's Quality Assured Collisions FYI is presented by Radar's Quality Assured Collision, an ICBC Valley accredited repair facility. 
Shaw hosts the fourth annual Canada Day Parade Sunday, July 1st at 7 p.m. Join us for all the color and excitement and explosions with live coverage of the fireworks display from Canada Place. Make it a Canada Day weekend. Join Canada Day celebrations Saturday, June 30th through to Monday, July 2nd at the Port Moody Station Museum. Enjoy world-class music in our world-class city. Find your musical nirvana at the TD Vancouver International Jazz Festival now to July 1st. Radar's Quality Assured Collisions FYI was presented by Radar's Quality Assured Collision. And remember, this Friday, June 29th, from 5 until close, it's ladies' night here at the Hive Bouldering Gym. There'll be a live DJ, prizes, snacks, and more importantly, a chance to get support and advice from other climbers while you have some fun. Thanks for watching The Express, only on Shaw TV.